What's going on everyone? We all know that lighting is important, but how do you get that professional cinematic look with just two lights? Let's find out. Before we get started, I want to announce that we're doing a giveaway for Rode Wireless Go 2s. So stick to the end to find out how to win. When I first started out filmmaking, it was hard to figure out what the best way was to light a talking head. After a ton of trial and error, I found the best way to light an interview with only just two lights. Today, we're going to show you how to light an interview with just two lights at all different price points. What's going on everyone? It's your friend Joey, I'm with TP. And today we're gonna to show you how to do three different lighting setups at three different budgets in less than 60 seconds each. All right, so for today, we are using these newer 600 TLSs. These lights are less than $100 for a two pack. So pretty affordable, pretty affordable. First pro tip, get yourself a Spigot. Spigot or Spigot, we call it Spigot. What you're gonna do is have the Spigot at 45 degrees, boom. Put it into your light. That's what she said. Screw it in. That's what she said. One screwed in, you're gonna turn off the house lights. Next, you're gonna get your light stand. Get yourself a nice light stand. And turn it on. We're gonna place this light stand 45 degrees from the angle. JT, show them 45 degrees from the camera. All right, light stand, light. 45 degrees from the camera. Boom, put it on. Next, we're gonna take our hair light, put it on the light stand, tighten it up. We're gonna take the hair light, and this creates a separation. And boom, that's the setup. That looks nice. So the reason we have this at a 45 degree angle is so you can create depth in TP's face. If you look at TP's face, there's like a soft shadow off to the left side, um, pro tip, you should always try to shoot on shadow side. It creates a lot more depth in your subject's face and is overall a better cinematic image. So the reason that we're adding this hair light in the back is to separate our subject TP from the background. So I'll turn off the light here, boom. And that's more of a dramatic look, but if you wanna, ha but if you wanna separate your subject from the background, you just turn on the hair light and boom, there you go. All right, setup number two, the Aperture 120D. This light is great at the price point at $549. Um, I've used this light for years for a ton of different shoots and uh, really good investment. And the Light Dome, the Aperture Light Dome 2. Again, we're putting this at a 45 degree angle, bringing this guy up, turning this puppy on and boom. Look at that, would you look at that. Next, for the hair light, we got the Nan Light Pavo Tube 26C. Um, this thing is great because it's RGB, and what I like to do is I like to have a warm hair light and to have the key light as daylight. That way, it has a little bit more contrast and a little bit more separation um, from the background. All right, so we're gonna take this. Ooh, right now it's set to blue, as you can see. That is not it, that is not it. We're gonna switch it out and I'm gonna go 3200 Kelvin and the Aperture 120D is sitting around 5600 Kelvin. All right, we're gonna take this, screw that puppy in, ooh, it's bright. And boom, HTP right there with the warm hair light. Look at that, would you look at that? Bonus tip, add a grid to help reduce the spill of your light. Check out what this looks like. That's a light dome. And look at that. With grid, without grid. With grid, without grid. With grid, without grid. So this is our final setup. Right now we're rocking with a 600D Pro. Next up, we're shooting this through a 45 inch softbox with a grid, through a scrim and a quarter grid diffusion. Next, we have the negative fill. Pro tip, negative fill will increase the shadows on the face. Look at the face, you can see the shadow over there. Take away the negative fill and reverse it on the white side. This will add a more of a fill light on the other side of the face for a more uplifting, you know, elegant looking image. Check it out. Now look at TP. TP's looking bright and airy. 
you know what these wedding photographers like, bright and airy. Next up, we have the Nanlite Pavo Tube 60C, 60C, 30C, 30C Mark One, And we have this rigged up on a C-stand on a boom arm right out of frame. If you, if, you if you check out TP, you can see him separated. He's separated from the background. All right, and there you have it. That's three lighting setups at three different budgets. That's it today. Scott Bab the new Bab. <laughs> Woo! All right, that's it for today. Let me know down below which is your favorite lighting setup and why. If you want to win Rode Wireless Go 2s, follow me on Instagram at JobyXRaymundo and comment and subscribe to this video. Let me know what your favorite thing to eat is. Until the next time, sayonara. Peace. Cut.